Sir, lettuce is very expensive, sir. Shall I get you some lettuce? Let us begin. Yes, let us begin. Reader, आज के मुख्य समाचार ये हैं कि हम न्यूज देखना बंद कर चुके हैं हम आगे न्यूज नहीं देखेंगे बिकॉज फिलहाल मेन स्ट्रीम न्यूज हो गई है बेकार दिस इज द टोन विद विच यू स्टार्टेड योर वीडियो Sorry, which I had to start like this just to give context because it's not every day that you and I get to. It's not every day that you and I get to jump on a Zoom call, talk about yeah. stuff like this, <laughs> and record. And record at the same time. Yeah. Do you realize how we've come full circle? We had managed to get ourselves a studio. Yeah. Studio. Uh... And we're back to a DIY setup. An audience, uh, editing, professional work, and we worked <laughs> up to that point, and now we're back. To, yeah, uh, this is a home we're back to we're back to this ecosystem. We should take it as a sign. Although I don't know if yeah. the, uh, videos will perform as well as the podcast, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's worth good. a try. Mm-hmm. Why not? We are experimenting. This is the uh, this is the perfect time to experiment. This is the new age. So this is the new age, which actually brings me to that question: How are you holding up? I'm great. Uh, I'm doing my uh, writing. I'm gonna release because I can't release my book uh, to bookstore now. So I'm going to release it. Is on- this the one that I was thinking about? Yes, yes, that's the one. I'm going to release it on Amazon as a 10 part series and uh, hopefully we will get to Ooh, it. lovely. Can we name the book now? No, not yet. Okay. No. All right. Can it. we can we drop a hint? You'll get sick of it in the next few months. Huh? I'm going to plug it in every video and you'll get sick of hearing the name so don't worry about it. <laughs> no, it's okay. I I'm sure we can just sprinkle something. Hmm. Actually, uh, it has my, to do. Sorry, I was saying my book is a good uh, example of the of a new kind of experimental business model. I was uh, I'm experimenting with right now. It has to prove itself, but I will get to that in the later part of our conversation. Mm-hmm. How have you been holding up? I have been working from home, um, dealing with client calls. Yes. on the front lines of that one but i've been teaching at my own time i've been exercising at my own time i've been writing i decided to sing and upload a video for what joy i do not know but i thought hey why not that's good and you're pretty good i didn't i mean i was pleasantly surprised <laughs> yeah you were like ooh metal drama sings cold play mm. <laughs> this is a bundle of contradiction like that Yeah I I think that's I think that's one thing that I've gotten a lot of flack for because of my uh, and I know that we decided not to kind of get into that today mm. but I've been getting a lot of that because of my uh, my zodiac sign <laughs> Gemini living contradiction mm. I know enough Gemini now but uh, I like the way you describe it in my own time you should underline that because yeah um mm-hmm. you're you're going to start looking at your time in a very different way and what you mm-hmm. do in a very different way um, yeah old way was uh, you working for a company and then the company looking at what you bring to the table and that's how they uh, to value you but now that turns upside down which is uh, the valuation will be based on your time investment to a client or an employer yeah yeah and then what you bring to the table comes after that so that's going to be a new shift hmm i see us moving to a very interesting direction uh, i think we're moving towards this by and large correct we are which is a strange feeling in a way because 
while i agree and this, it's not like this has not, not been around it's been around for a very very long time we've had skypes and zooms for years now yeah we just we just didn't feel we could do it this way or at least it didn't occur to me this is my 40th zoom call in 5 days and uh-huh. i didn't realize that i could use this other than work it just didn't occur to me because uh, mm-hmm. podcast and i was going mm-hmm. and uh, you had some great content on instagram with your training programs and that was doing really well and that was thank you and moving forward and it was all free to the to the yeah. so yeah there was a there was effort in in bringing people on board and there was some considerable investment but all of that was geared towards bringing truly great content out and we succeeded there and i didn't we did you will have to rapidly or at least as rapidly switch you remember our conversations with greener when i said after february everything is going to change i don't know if yeah you did managers to watch this uh, this specific video uh, we hmm. have very serious discussion about yeah after february every in your entire direction of your life changes i don't know if you remember that conversation i remember that conversation i do we did have that conversation because it's true the entire way uh, how things have been has completely changed like uh, you remember uh, aisha was on the instagram live for those who don't know aisha is a tarot reader and she actually said that that this this entire sequence of things and you've mentioned this to me way before that is that this entire thing of old structures is just collapsing on its head that's right this ha- this 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 like this is the prime example and the date matches feb i'm going to talk about one thing about old structures which is very very interesting and i'm going to i'm going to go back to you you'll see why i say this there was a tweet by the ferozabad police Mm-hmm. lambasting z news and i know i'm taking names uh lambasting z news for putting up a tweet which was unverified and uh, well in a way fake news that tweet got viral really and it brings me back to the point of you saying how so that's one major structure collapsing one the police calling out the media which used to be the other way around so to speak Hmm. And I remember I I remember I I saw your video by the way which was on point so to speak <clears throat> that stop watching the news because it's absolutely one it's it's manufactured case in point two you free up so much time that you get to do this and three uh, even if you don't want to stop because a lot of people uh, are addicted to the trigger that they get from the news and being a little uh, yeah being a little brutal here but i've seen that so if you do find yourself gravitating towards uh, looking at the news or social media and find something related to you know it's like it's like it's like being addicted to need it you know the, you know the fun part i actually thought of a heroin addict when you said that, said that yeah so so for those people uh if you don't want to just cut off cold turkey uh, you can do a little mm. which is that you cut off for a week and then see the difference and yeah. then just don't think about it in the week and then when you come back uh this is something i noticed mm-hmm. that a lot a large part of media on days when there is no death or no uh, no real uh, increase in numbers nothing like, negative to throw no they almost seem disappointed that there is not uh, any increase and uh, i'm not going to take names here so you guys know who, who they are and it's not it's not uh, it's not a section of the media it's just how the old system worked it's business mm. nothing to do with ideology so yeah uh, but then that business works because the nation wants to know it worked it worked 
it worked now uh, we're going to be building a nation that wants to know more than what they've been told what they've been told yeah more than what uh, is filtered hmm al gore actually gave a great uh, equation which proves my point which was that uh, old habits plus old hmm. technology equals predictable consequence and old habits plus new technology leads mm-hmm. to unpredictable consequences and that's, that's what true when the old political system the old way of media manipulation trickled mm-hmm. in net yeah this this had been going on just as much before social media and before uh, twitter and before the facebook and whatsapp came in i mean whatsapp mm-hmm. is the propaganda tool in india and before that there were other channels so it's not like it just suddenly uh, suddenly came out of nowhere when social media came in it just trickled into it but the habits didn't change mm. and now you're entering a time when you're forced to look at well you were made to believe that there is a, a, an enemy that looks a certain way that worships a certain god that uh, dresses a certain way and that was not uh, just in india it was all over the world and now you know the strange part we still have that we do and now you're being made to face an enemy that you can't see you can't predict you don't know what it looks like you don't know what it wears you don't know what it worships it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't care what religion you are yeah and uh, and it's highly contagious almost uh, almost like uh, almost like a weapon in a way yeah so, again uh, we'll know 20 years down the line what really happened because in this yeah. time, uh, there's not much information that can be suppressed and that's why uh, you see a lot of the internet a lot of attempt to have the internet locked down and uh, they haven't succeeded uh, and by they i mean all of those things that lose out on their control citing national security on any you can cite any mm-hmm. and the internet right. is the example of the new age so the industrial age is we have a new digital information age that was just beginning and now it's going to boost like anything and uh, we have a new asset class that's coming in with the cryptocurrency that that uh, when 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 was the last time you had that happen was- okay wait i'm going to stop you there because this is something <clears throat> this is something that's interesting hmm. cryptocurrency wasn't that banned wasn't that made illegal in india um not exactly but mm-hmm. there is a, a, a negative campaign around it to downplay it mm okay because well some reasons for uh, are, are still a bit legit when you when you read into them but mm-hmm. your currency is a con- currency that cannot be controlled by a central bank and that's the principal fear around it you can, right you can't regulate it you cannot manipulate it mm. and that's the principal change and then you have a new asset class that comes in and there are a lot of uh, family businesses traditional businesses a lot of very wealthy people now moving into it mm. only when uh, people like you and me uh will only be told about how great this uh, this new asset class is is when it goes above our purchasing power so that that's what happened with bitcoin didn't it so bitcoin is like a, the equivalent of a blue chip stock so it's it's safe to invest in but it's not going to give <laughs> the kind of returns uh, that it gave when people in when invested in bitcoin in the beginning in the beginning yeah this is the whole point 
which is you keep a very close circle a very very mm. number of people mm. buy in at a very very low price mm. open it up through campaigns through uh, through various ways and then have a buying frenzy so that you make a lot of money and then the other people can keep their money safe or whatever but mm. get the kind of returns that you would have originally got and right that's how that's how the stock market began uh, mm -hmm. if you if you look at wall street there's a 99% of america that has no access to it you cannot with your savings and uh, the kind of money you make in your in your in your salary in your daily life yeah. even your wage you can never make mm -hmm. that kind of money uh even if you trade every day because there is a 1% that runs it controls it and they take care of each other and that's what's happening now with this new system and mm. you have your blue chip cryptos like ethereum and bitcoin and then you have a million others and then 99% of them are rubbish mm. but then if you really go into which crypto is being used where and for what and by which companies and by which corporations you can get a reasonable degree of understanding of what mm. you're investing in and that requires research. but this is the new age and it's going to have a right. rules it's going to have a a new set of sheep a new set of wolves and mm. uh, hopefully uh, as <laughs> Uh, people have predicted the new spiritual age, where spiritual mm -hmm. is not going to be just a fringe concept of uh, meditation and monkey people, who, who, uh, are, or at least they they're dismissed as people who are completely away from reality. Yeah, the new normal, because it's always meant to be the new normal, mm -hmm. and. We promote stepping it. into no. We promote stepping it. into the power. It was, it was an easier crowd controlling tool, and that's why religion was uh, covertly used. And there's nothing wrong with individual religions. It's just the people who use them. Hmm. Who uh, is the intent behind it? It's the intent behind crowd control. You yeah. get one aspect of something. and completely uh, taking away from the whole point of the thing so that's right. why it uh, has, uh, has not worked because the first thing that was done was move science away from religion so that science and religion are two separate entities <coughs> it's it was deliberately done so that neither yeah. neither could be completely uh, whole as a truth <laughs> and and that's why you had einstein saying that science without religion is lame and yeah. without science is blind yeah you can't work without the other because religion minus science is superstition rubbish absolutely and science minus religion leads you into doing stupid things like researching bio weapons and uh, killing animals and I mean nature and that's what's happened. Yeah. There needs to be a fusion now and that binary that old binary needs to go and it is going. So again like you said on your own time and that's the yeah. that you're going to be working you're going to be functioning on your own time uh and what's your product something that you can come up with your own creativity correct to point in the right direction so if you can come up with something from that factory which was always the most sophisticated thing in the world uh you don't have to have much investment now yeah you don't need uh, too much money you don't need uh, too much capital to immediately start selling a product that you can come up with right now and within uh, we in the past year year and a half you had nightingale which was uh, an 
a jewelry store which started yeah that started with minimal investment and look where it is today and that's uh, true your hard work and creativity which was always there yeah it just wasn't channeled into uh, something because we've always been taught that uh, to start that's not mainstream enough no uh, it's it's just uh, this dismissal we've had towards business and finance that they've been made complicated so that most people stay away from it yeah yeah i've noticed that that's that's the strange part actually <clears throat> which actually brings me to one thing so we're in a lockdown right now because since we're talking about finances we're in a lockdown right now it's had massive implications on everything our way of life so to speak we've just spoken about this but one thing that everyone's kind of just thrown around but no one's really gotten into the detail of how is the financial implications of this lockdown because here's the thing i have i have had conversations where someone's someone's actually gone on record and gone uh, you know gone to say to me that uh, what if a barter system comes back into play and money physical money is no longer uh, your mode of currency um or how are people going to earn now considering that industry has taken a hit rather industries have taken a hit so what is the considering that so like most people watching i have clue about finance i don't never studied it because for me as well it's a complicated subject but you have been looking into it so one immediate example is uh, of what your friend was talking about is the mm. I mean, the printing billions of dollars right now mm. as a stimulus package right and the net effect of that is going to be that the value of the dollar is is seriously threatened in the next uh, few months and that has a cascading effect on the whole world because every mm. us dollar yeah so that's an immediate example of how money as we know it is going to change and money has mm. been uh, two in two forms and uh, as my my guru had uh, mentioned there's eco money which is what you can get from your job or it's directly related to how you convince yourself that your work brings and there is mm-hmm. divine money right which comes from many sources from rituals from your own karma from the karma of your ancestors and wherever mm-hmm. needs no rational basis to come to you and that's why you have uh, at least i've had to learn clients and i just couldn't figure out how they were that successful because they didn't seem to be the ideal person who i thought was anyone supposed to be mm. very wealthy uh so allah i'm sure it's like you said it doesn't have to be rational yes a lot of a lot of people listening to this at any point of time can recall looking at a lot of families or a lot of businessmen or a lot of people they just can't figure out how they are so wealthy and that's the divine wealth that is there which mm-hmm. everyone has access to everyone does they just rely too much on the ego side of wealth and that's where you live mm-hmm. and that's why knowledge becomes that's where knowledge becomes a prison to you and that's not right that's not how your brain is supposed to possess knowledge mm-hmm. if you know something it should liberate you or enable you to evolve into something better than you are before you knew it and that's the simplest way i can put it but if you know something that limits you uh, into being anything less of who you have been or who you see yourself as what's the point of that knowledge Or what's the point of even knowing something like that? and that's mm. 
that's the that's the main reason I've asked people to stay away from the news because mm. it's pumping fear into you, and that's not what journalism is meant to do or anything. Yeah. And that's uh, look. Let me put it straight. The pandemic is going to go away. But the crisis will last a lot longer than the virus. And you're yeah. going to see the effects of it when the media decides to turn your attention away. From it. Because that's your only source of feedback right now. Pretty much. And the fun part is that uh, you have you have Spain and Iran uh, mentioning that they've seen a, they, they see a gradual decline in cases. So yeah. now the focus has shifted entirely elsewhere. It will gradually shift elsewhere. Uh, we will get past this virus. Yeah. We're not going to get past the collateral damage as quickly or as easily if you stay tuned in to how things worked before. And that's my point. Exactly. And uh, it's it's a time of harsh lessons. It's a time of harsh karmic backlash. Mm -hmm. Why you see a lot of suffering and pain. Even speaking of uh, speaking of an interesting, sorry, I'm saying suffering and pain even to those who don't have the virus. That's true. Yeah, that's true. So what um, you were talking about uh, knowledge. And knowledge sharing. Yeah. And uh, we we know that industries have taken a massive hit. The same thing that we just spoke about, right? If you stay tuned in to the old way of working, you are gonna you are gonna be facing this suffering a lot longer. Um, but the things, the beauty of things that has changed. For example, you and I talking like this. Companies who had a very sit, come to work, uh, do the work in the office, stay long hours, etc, etc, etc. Cannot have that anymore. And while other industries have taken a hit, the, the one thing that I feel has just skyrocketed and it's beautiful to see which is the industry of knowledge sharing or e-learning or teaching. Yes. You have so many people coming up, sharing their talents, sharing their knowledge, sharing their skills with other people. Yes, in exchange for money, because ultimately that is the ultimate provider at the moment. And it's an, and it's an exchange. It's an exchange of energies, fair exchange. But it's beautiful to see how many people have just shown up from the woodwork, adapted quickly and said, you know what? We don't have that option anymore. We're going to use this. We're going to use the power of this. And that's where my example of value came from. What's, yeah. what's going to work now is not how much money you are paid or you pay someone for a specific service. The new rule or the new uh, way of being is how much value you transfer to someone else as a result of the transaction. Yeah. yeah. That's the new business model of the future is how mm -hmm. the value chain or the value change I bring into your life as a result of my online class or whatever that enables me to have a multiplier effect in whatever I do with my life. And that's how yeah. it's always been. Collectively, mm -hmm. now, who, is, who is bringing you the most value in this lockdown? Right now, it's your, as a country, yeah. as a nation, mm -hmm. who adds the highest value to your life right now in the lockdown? Your caregivers, your uh, essential services providers, your essential doctors, services. your nurses. Essential services, doctors and nurses function on what? Value, knowledge, time, skills. They transfer essential supplies. What are essential supplies? Food, milk, vegetables. Who grows that? 
farmers. And how have we been treating our farmers? Like shit. Yeah. Because yeah. Why? Because the old system only valued goods, did not value human effort. There was mm. no for the person who was giving you that that much of a change in your life. It was always a price, and that's why there were middlemen in the farming system and all of those things. But now. If there is a farmer who did his job a couple of months ago, is why you are sitting in your house with a full stomach. And which is although one a doctor. Although for that example, which I am a little sad because I before your video, I also sat because part of my job is to look at the news. Uh, was was to say was to see a lot of the produce and everything that people have that farmers have being thrown away because they couldn't find people to sell it to which is the sad part because for all their effort you still haven't changed the one thing that you had to do because there was no or at least still to a certain degree is no value for that human mm. and what 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 do you know now in the new world that hard work is no measure for success it wasn't yeah. if it was then every laborer you met would have been a millionaire by now <laughs> right yeah yeah every farmer should have been in the forbes 100 uh, uh, whatever millions and billion dollars uh, <laughs> yeah but they weren't but mm. did they work any less harder than any entrepreneur and any any person doing their job if at all they worked harder if you want to go there mm. yeah yes because if you were to, if you were to calculate it based on manual effort for sure but i think the world over time and even now to a degree switched over from conscious work so earlier it was hard work hard labor exhaustive committed work in one field that brings about certain change then we moved over to a value based uh system like how much value can you give my company how, how wide is your skill set how much money can you bring in um and slowly moved over to how much money can you bring in Mm. which is why you will notice that in our country and nothing against sports persons i happen to love sports and people as well but when you compare them to a doctor or you compare them to a teacher and this is an argument the world over right that cricketer or footballer or gymnast or whatever while they're getting medals for your for your country and doing really really well uh in terms of the visual aspect of things they're still not saving your life they're great role models for hard work they're great role models for commitment they're great role models that you too can be that be there and be that person and yes a doctor's education is boring it's effort it's crazy effort but then you don't see any sports person saving your life right now or any actor or influencer or someone coming up and saving your lives so you're leading up to another great point is that we're all reviewing our definitions hmm the value of hard work of uh, what constitutes what and no work is worthless yeah uh, at any point hmm. it's a matter of how conscious and cognizant you are of the value <clears throat> of the value that that particular profession person brings to you yes so as hard as doctors are working right now hmm have a spike in the numbers not because doctors are working any less hard mm. 
whatever this crisis is has its uh, has its effects and we haven't figured out uh, a preventive or at least a way to tackle it and, yeah. and we don't know to a certain degree the nature of uh, covid-19 because uh, then that we'll know much later why we don't know as much yeah this is not just a coronavirus this is a specific coronavirus uh, which is covid yeah and yeah where the fear of psychosis that's where as a media manager as a production manager i would put mm. yeah and that's that's who we so before people kind of begin to wonder why we say don't read the news is because both of us work in that realm we've been perception managers i still happen to be a pr man pr digital communications manager <clears throat> across various spectrums and we can tell you as people who would be classified i hate to use the term but it's the truth people who would be classified as spin doctors we put a spin on things Good. that includes the that's a, that's a good term uh, what exactly does a spin doctor do <laughs> makes your head spin yeah and what exactly is the key strength of a spin doctor the ability to weaponize mm. there and how that works is that i will use your fear of death i will use your fear of death to feed this pill to you every single day so that you get addicted to what i'm bringing out nothing yeah. the, if 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 you have a if you have a news media channel discussing the virus 12 hours a day that's mm-hmm. no value addition in dealing with the crisis or helping any doctor yeah with whom it's nothing is worthless and what you're doing is just juggling information in your head yeah and repackaging it and putting it so you're going to pick it up from the news you're going to discuss it with someone else you're going to put it on whatsapp and they do this mm-hmm. and then it's it's the cycle that keeps going on and on and you're recycling and repackaging information until something new comes in. and that i'm going to put in a shameless plug uh, which i'm going to put a very shameless plug break the cycle please indeed and most people don't see it because mm. uh, again you you're not taught to question these things yeah and that's what rather i will say you're taught you're taught to not question these things yes because uh, and that's what people like us have exploited and <laughs> and people like us just it just did not make sense anymore to continue and you you understood that uh, there is a line inside you that's not going to be a part of this whole game you have to step out and you have to tell people that it's always been a game and unfortunately we've been a part of it but now we're telling you to snap out of it because it's not helping you at all in fact it's uh, it's helping those it's- detrimental it's detrimental to your health your wealth your sanity your mm-hmm. relationships and what does it do it gives me the eyeballs it gives me the viewership at the cost of your health your mental health yeah. and which will eventually manifest into your physical health absolutely and i am not creating any fear inside you as a news provider that's another yeah. thing I'm talking about myself. I'm talking about uh, as a as an example. A news provider or any mainstream media is only exploiting what was already there. Just like every politician uses a certain aspect of society that's always been there, they just magnify it. Yeah, we are ultimately mirrors of the uh, collective consciousness. That's right. Most of us. All of us. you are 100% <laughs> a 
the sum total of your thoughts and your decisions as a result of those thoughts <laughs> come on wait i've actually heard this you are not your thoughts no again you are what you choose to identify with and if that and if the stimulus for that thought is an external feedback system you need to cut it off how do you deal with a bully how do you deal with someone who is manipulating you you cut off their information first mm-hmm. and when they have no feedback when they have no information you see them crumbling away right and how yeah and another another advantage of this new age is uh, is you figure it out 15 years ago yeah. you were the same age and you had to teach 25 people martial arts or at least one class of martial arts how long would it take you about 2 hours 2 and a half hours and now no 25 people 2 and a half hours per person without internet yeah you have technology even if you use technology then it would cost you a bomb so yeah you have technology you can finish now for 15 dollars a month i can teach as many people as i want yes so another aspect of this new age is that things are much faster not technology i mean you are I mean, able to teach people faster but what's the net result people learn faster mm-hmm. it's the accessibility yes and when you learn faster you are able to act on it much quicker much much quicker so everything is going to be fast and what is the spiritual example for this instant manifestation mm. so if you are relying on the old system of feeding you information deliberately for you to act a certain way then you miss that by the time you realize you've been played and you will it will be too late you will be playing catch up with the rest of the world and there is <laughs> a portion of the world right now that's moving that's using this as an opportunity if you're privileged and lucky enough to be just sitting at home this is your time this is your time to use this opportunity use technology in a way you never have if you have a product if you have a service bring it out right now you have a captive audience everyone wants it yes and rely on your own value so you've been taught to doubt yourself you've been taught many things i am a, a serial failure mm. <laughs> right and it's just the one habit i picked up that i'm not going to stop mm. and that's what every entrepreneur goes through i'm not saying has to go through but goes through but you keep moving forward because the main job of an entrepreneur is not to start new businesses it's to keep learning and to keep it keep it active yes and to act starting a business is easy who is an entrepreneur someone who learned and acted first on something yeah or at least as quickly as to monetize whatever he was doing so that other people could benefit without going through the hard work of bringing whatever that product or service out themselves because yep. spend years practicing you spend years perfecting your product or whatever you're bringing out so that it can be valued at a certain price which i can sell to you which you can buy and immediately get the benefit without my years of hard work and work that's what an entrepreneur does yeah so that's the new world this is a new business model uh, we can get into the financial aspect of it uh, uh, in another video call we'll go up yeah go on for another 3 hours i don't even i'm quite surprised this is lasted an hour it didn't feel like an hour <laughs> <laughs> feels like a very quick discussion yes so uh, but no it, i think this is something that we will ha- this is something that i do think we need to continue further is understanding and really kind of unwinding or untangling this complicated web of things that we've built step 1 step out of the thought that it is complicated 
the old way was to teach you something that was complicated first. So first thing that was put in your head was that it's complicated. Complicated. <laughs> with that thought, you approached anything so that you didn't get very far, did you? No. Look at the pioneers in the world. You have people who never finished college. Uh, they, they've done some great things. You've had people who have uh, learnt and come from extremely uh, wretched backgrounds. Like Ivy League level colleges. Yeah. But what is the, uh, I mean, I'm, I don't want to downplay the Ivy Leagues. I'm sure they have their own value. But do not convince yourself that anything is complicated because you are complicating it the minute you decide that. Mm. Mathematics is not complicated for a mathematician. Why? Because he doesn't perceive it that way. But he'll make it look complicated if he has to. Or anyone. Whether it's a financial mm. If I want to keep someone out of something that I'm really good at, I'll make the approach really hard. So that most people stay out of it. And that was the old way. That's not going to work anymore. But the one thing that I think everyone must, 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 must take away, regardless of whether you perceive it as simple or you perceive it as complicated, ultimately, everything, everything is figure outable. And everything is an illusion. Yeah, everything is an illusion. Everything is a sum total of whatever you've convinced yourself it is. And you're getting a live example of that. Well, at least most, most people, especially the WhatsApp world, were convinced that there was an enemy, a hidden enemy in, in the country. And that's not so anymore. Everything's changed. <laughs> so you are the sum total of what you've convinced yourself. Yeah. In your definitions, step one, nothing is complicated. The only thing that's complicated is what does not grab your attention. And if you pay enough attention to anything, you realize you start telling yourself that, oh, it's not as complicated as I thought. That's no accident. Yeah. That's how things always have been. And there was a ruling class that did everything as they wanted. You have India's own example. A lot of people became very wealthy with not necessarily working very hard or doing anything that you would believe uh, is a success story. They were just at the right place at the right time, knew the right people and got what they wanted. Yeah. And that's why you have the banks which are paying the price. And who, who are the banks? You, your money. So it's ultimately you who is paying the price. Pretty much. And, and if I had to ensure that system worked, I had to make it very complicated for you to get a loan to buy a car or a house, but very easy if you had to get a massive loan and run away with it. I love it how you put this stuff. Yeah. I think, I, I, <laughs> I think we've neared, we've, we've almost about to breach an hour. I think we can close now. We can discuss finally yeah, sure. on another episode of this. <laughs> Next episode, I, I think uh, I think this needs further deep dive. We do need to talk about financial implications and just how things have changed from that one lens. Because I think that's one thing that people really, really, really want to know how that works. And who's our next guest? Hmm. I really, I really, I, will have to, I really look forward to Aisha's uh, Zoom call with you. Reading? Whenever that happens. That will happen soon. Uh, and I hope she does a reading for the week. That will be nice. I will do that, man. I will definitely ask her to do that. Okay. So In I fact, it's going to be the three of us on call. I'd be happy to. Okay, yeah. so let's close now. Uh, All right, man. And you'll see us back. Uh, hopefully, if you like the video, uh, this is going to be on YouTube. Uh, you subscribe, and YouTube has changed its way of uh, of uh, evaluating successful uh, channels. So, if you subscribe, 
uh, that's not going to add too much value in the way the channel goes up. And I'm being very honest. Uh, it's pressing that little bell icon. Bell icon. That's going to help us out. We value success now. So, because people are buying subscribers. So, they've changed that. So, please subscribe. Please like the video. Share it with people if you find value. If you find value. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon. And ask anything you want. And we'll try and bring it in the next episode. Yes. Yeah. In fact, we love it if they bring questions. Oh, I love questions, especially tough ones. <laughs> All right, Vij. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for doing this. Thank you, everyone. If you watched it this uh, right till this point, thank you for your time. And <laughs> there's going to be a lot of value for time now, thankfully. Yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.